हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ब्रांड न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग रिएक्ट एंड स्प्रिंग बूट सो गाइज वी आर गोना बिल्ड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ओके एंड हियर यू कैन सी दिज आर द टेक्नोलॉजीज वी आर गोना यूटिलाइज एंड हियर यू कैन सी द की फीचर सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वन बाय वन इन द फ्रंट एंड यू कैन सी वी आर गोना यूज रिएक्ट ऑल्सो वी आर गोना यूज रिडक्स फॉर मैनेजिंग अवर स्टेट Tailwind CSS, uh, CSS, then Sales C and UI library. Okay, guys. Now you may have a question that why we are gonna use Sales C and UI library? Why not MUI? So, guys, Sales C and UI library is nowadays uh, taking much, much more popularities. And as a programmer, we need to stay updated with the uh, latest and new technologies. Okay, which are trading technologies. So we need to stay updated with this. uh uh that's why we are going to use uh, utilize this uh, new sets and ui library in this project it's uh, much much easy and uh, it's fun guys okay and uh, in the back end you can see we are going to use uh, spring boot spring security for authentication and authorization purpose json web token of course we are going to use then uh, spring starter mail for sending email notification to user and uh, if i talk about database we'll use mysql database okay now let's move to the feature part uh, here you can see project management feature so guys a user can create projects as much uh, he wants and uh, then he can send invitation for the joining project to another user okay uh, also he can filter projects based on the tags categories okay he can search project as well uh, using keywords and uh, also here you can see create issue issue management so user can create issue within the project okay one project have lots of issues and uh, on those issues uh, issues multiple user can work all right uh, then uh, you can uh, filter issues by uh, in progress uh, by status of the issues like uh, issue is uh, in progress it's uh, done or it's pending something like that okay then uh, user can comment on these issues all right uh, crud operations also you can see on the issues uh, also project communication so guys a user can uh, chat within the project like uh, uh, one project have a 10 member of team so all these 10 member can uh, chat okay and uh, also email notification user uh, receive notification for uh, project related activities all right guys now all these features let's see in the practical manner so let me go to my project and what i'm going to do i will uh, log out from here and yeah you can see this beautiful register page now i will register uh, as a one user so let me put here my uh, full name first let's give here ashok then uh, my email so get the red uh, gmail.com here i will provide then let's provide the password okay and let's register now okay wait let me refresh the page and yeah guys here you can see i'm registered with the ashok okay now let's create new project first so create e-commerce platform okay and uh, here i will provide description like uh, multiple multiple seller can sell their uh, products on our platform all right and uh, here you can see the or maybe uh, select the technology like uh, categories maybe uh, which category this pro uh, project related to full stack only front end or only back end so i'm going to put in full stack project and here you need to select the tags so currently by default i have selected uh, javascript and react so let me remove this javascript uh, react i will be as uh, keep this and uh, let's add uh, backend technology like spring boot 
also let's add uh, mysql database so where it is here you can see all right now let's create project and here you can see uh, here you see the category which we have selected full stack and all the tech stack uh, i mean technologies we have used or maybe we have selected now guys you can uh, delete this project as well so i'm not going to delete this let's first create a dummy project uh, dummy project and let's give uh, this and uh, let's create okay dummy project now uh, let me show you how you can delete this project so by clicking on delete you can delete the project now let's uh, update this project you can update this project as well uh, let's say i will give here create e-commerce uh, platform instead of create e-commerce platform i will give here create uh, multi-vendor e-commerce platform okay let me give here multi-vendor 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 e-commerce project and let's update the project so here you can see title is change now let's go uh, uh, let's do one thing let's create uh, one more project so let me go to here and let's create uh, Mm, what I will create so social media social media project and let's give some description and uh, uh, this time I will give a category only front end okay and text tag let's use uh, mongodb then let's use uh, node.js if I have here okay no then uh, what i can use python no okay let's use python as well okay and let's create the project social media project okay now let's create one more project so this time i will create hotel booking project hotel booking system and let's uh, give some dis description uh, this time guys category i will use backend only backend okay and uh, tag let me use uh, next just instead of react just let me remove this and uh, let's use uh, django also use python all right and let's create our project okay now here you can see the categories so let's check a uh, full stack project so here you can see only one full stack project we have create multi vendor e-commerce platform and if i click on front end so here you can see only front end category project and if i cre uh, click on back end you can see only back end related projects also guys uh, same with the uh, tags so let me go to all categories now let's uh, filter by tag so let's uh, here you can see react related uh, now if i want to see only next chess related you can see only next chess related if i click on spring boot you can see only spring boot related uh, projects all right guys uh that's for tags now let's uh, search our project so let's uh, search hotel booking see only hotel booking project is here uh, if i search for e-commerce so you can see only e-commerce project okay so yeah guys you can uh, search based on the title and description and uh, now guys let's go to any project details so here you can see all the project details like title then uh, this is the description project lead so uh, who have guys created this project this name you will be see here so project lead is a uh, asok now uh, here you can see the member okay currently i am the only member in this project but if i want to invite somebody so let i can so let's go to another tab and uh, here if you can see let's go back i'm uh, logged in with code with josh account okay and i want to uh, add this user in my this project and also guys in uh, his dashboard here you can see currently have a create coffee shop project okay great now let's go to here let's click on invite here i need to provide that user email so it's a code with josh and let's send the invitation okay after uh, sending the invitation let's go to here and let's go to gmail 
and here you can see uh, click the link to join the project project team okay I need to click on this link for joining project so let's click here and you are invited to join the project accept invitation yes let's accept it and here you can see create multi vendor e-commerce platform and project lead this member now uh, code with Josh and Ashok category will be full stack all right so guys now if I go to home page I have two projects create multi vendor e-commerce platform as well and uh, this is my own project like um, on means code with Josh project now let's go to Ashok account okay let's refresh it you can see here now uh, this account has two members but guys uh, see one thing let's go to here here you can you can't see the invitation button okay you can't invite another user because uh, this project owner is not you this project owner is Ashok Team, uh, means project lead is Ashok only Ashok can uh, invite another user from his account okay now guys uh, uh, after this you can create issues as well so let's create here issue like create now bar let's give here create now bar uh, okay sorry create now bar and let's give description you should use let test technology for creating now bar okay and let's create issue you can see issue is created successfully now let's create another one like create footer and let's give some description so let's give it description and let's create one more uh, this time I will give create home page okay and let's give here create home page using solvent CSS and let's create okay so currently guys you can see I have uh, three issues I have created and uh, okay now uh, here you can see there is no assignee available currently but if I want to assign this task to anyone so I can assign so see here uh, currently I have only two users code with Josh and Ashok okay so I can assign uh, anyone both of them like if I assign to uh, Ashok it will assign to myself but if I will assign to code with Josh then it will assign to code with Josh so let's assign this task to code with Josh and I will show you he will get new mail when I assign so see guys beautiful skeleton as well here how it's loading okay now here, here you can see uh, instead of this user icon here uh, avatar is coming like see for code with Josh name and if I go to here you can see here code with Josh name is up here and if I go to second issue you can see here and uh, this issue is on us unassigned okay now uh, if I go to here and let me show you the email as well so let's go to here you can see new issue is assigned to you new issue assigned to you okay uh, now let's go to again here and uh, all right now guys what you can do is let's go to any issue detail so here if I can go and here guys you can and uh, see the status of this issue you can change it okay so let's make it in progress you can see status is in progress now and assignee you can see code with Josh okay let's go back and yeah guys you can see now first uh, issue is go to in progress and uh, if I go to here uh, you can see assignee is null currently there is no any assignee for this create footer okay and uh, now let me change the uh, status of this as well let me make it done here you can uh, see the status is done now if I go to here you can see now create footer will go inside done part okay so currently I have uh, in progress one 
uh, and in done also one and uh, pending also one all right guys now let's go to again inside uh, now bar and uh, here what i can do i can add comment as well like hello hello oh okay see hello uh, or let's say how are you okay so that's how guys you can add here comment as well here you can see the commenters name and avatar and you can delete your comment as well okay that's how uh, have you finished work like this you can comment on any issues all right okay now let's go back and uh, here you can get uh, you can see guys chat box of project so here you can uh, chat within this project let's say hi uh, okay let's click here hi how are you today okay so yeah guys that's how our projects gonna be work and uh, now let's go to main part and i hope i have covered all the features uh, and uh, if any left we'll see in the tutorial okay guys so that's it for the demo